Hey guys, it's Bub here. The Windows 11 Moment 3 update is the newest update to come to Windows 11. It should be available to the general public around the middle or early of June. However, it is currently available in the release preview channel. So in this video, we're going to take a look at it and taking a look at some of the biggest features that have changed with this new Windows 11 update. Now, something to note, when you do go to update this, whether you're in the release preview channel or anything like that, this is not like a feature update. This is not like upgrading from 21H2 to 22H2. This will come up as a simple KB update. There's no major like, hey, you have, you're not on 22H2 yet. It comes across as just a re one of the regular KB updates. So the first two changes I actually want to talk about are down here in the taskbar. The first change is I can't demonstrate it right now because I don't have a VPN connection. But when you're using a VPN, on top of the little network badge down here, you will see a blue lock which will indicate that a VPN is active. This is called the VPN connection badge and is something that I believe is very useful. I can't remember how VPNs typically used to show up on Windows 11, but I, I know it did not do that. The next thing, which is something many people have been praying for, is seconds in the system tray clock. Now you can add seconds back if you want to count seconds. I never had this on, so I like to keep it off, but if you're one of those people that likes to have that in your system tray, you can now have that there. Going back to the topic of badges, if you are signed in with a Microsoft account, which we're not, we're using a local account, and you click on your user profile right here, on top of change account settings, there will be a badge or an icon that will tell you if there's any issues with your Microsoft account. For example, if you, did need, if you need to add a recovery address, recovery email, recovery phone, that will pop up here. So any Microsoft account related issues will now show up here. The next update comes to live captions. The live captions experience expands to Chinese, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, Danish, and English, so other English dialects, and Korean. Live captions appear when audio is played, including in real-time video calls. I'm not even going to lie, I didn't know that this was a feature in Windows 11, but it's very good to see that it's coming to other countries and languages as well. Microsoft has introduced Bluetooth Low Energy Audio support on Windows 11 for high quality audio at low power, which delivers better audio experiences for calls, videos, and music on compatible devices. One of the bigger changes inside of Windows 11 Moment 3 is the widgets pane, actually. The widgets feature is a way that people like to, you know, look at stuff on Windows 11. I don't really use widgets, and I don't know that many people that do. Funny thing, WWDC is on the widget pane. This new update, Windows 11, will include a redesigned interface of, the, of this widget board with three columns that will make it easier for users to differentiate between the widgets and the news feed. I am actually not sure why there are not three panes here. I did the Vive tool thing to make this work, and it is not working. But okay. I guess, I suppose that's that. The rest of these changes are relatively minimal. I'm just going to run over them briefly. Um, organizations can now try out a preview of token protection for sign-ins. This is a feature that allows apps and services to bind security tokens to the device, probably through TPM, restricting attackers' ability to impersonate users on a different device by stealing tokens. Windows 365 Boot allows features to start physical devices directly into their 365 cloud PCs by default. So after they log into their physical PC like this one, they'll automatically be connected to the cloud PC with no additional steps in between, which I can see that'll be pretty nice for like thin clients or something like that. On Windows 11, you now have the ability to isolate Win32 apps. This allows developers to reduce the risk of security breaches by, by using new isolation technologies. Running Win32 apps in isolation will obviously prevent apps from having unexpected access or unauthorized access to internal subsystems. As a part of the Windows 11 Enterprise subscription, so for, you know, enterprise enrolled Intune devices, administrators will now have the ability to send company-branded messages from Microsoft Intune to users on various surfaces, such as the notification panel, the area right above the taskbar, which is where our volume icon is, and the Get Started app. Windows Auto Patch is also a feature, however, it's only available for those Enterprise subscriptions. It's a preview of a new capability to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 Enterprise automatically. The Windows Lapse feature, which if you don't know, it's Windows Local Administrator Password Solution, now works with Microsoft Azure AD to make it more difficult for attackers to access the local administrator account. And lastly, the one that I am personally most excited about, the Microsoft Intune Suite Endpoint Privilege Management. The EPM is a new feature for Windows 11 that allows administrators to limit their attack surface 
by running everyone as standard users and elevating privileges only when needed, including for specific approved applications. Believe it or not, I have actually tested this before. I have used this with my Intune subscription, and I must say it is pretty cool. I'm waiting for a few more features to come, which maybe that will be in moment three. But overall, that is a very cool feature that I can see many organizations using. So with that being said, this is Windows 11 Moment 3. Definitely not as big as some of the previous updates, but it is still a welcome change to Windows 11. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.